Alrighty, welcome back to the final race of Sports Crazy for the Marble World. Now, our Season 1 series. Um, why am I looking in the sky? Well, you'll see. I'm very excited about this three-lap course in honor of what's it about. It's one of my favorite courses in a different game that I love to play as well. Um, and as well, on top of that, I want you to know that it's very possible to fall off this course and lose and get a DNF. Uh, but also should be completable, hopefully. With that in mind, Johnny and Chrissy are out of podium contention altogether, which means top three. Xavier and Christopher could still get top three, however cannot win. Between the four, Corbin, Tommy, Z Eli, and Corby, they could all win this thing, and as well as get a position, uh, get a podium position. With that in mind, we have currently in eighth place, Chrissy with ten, seventh Johnny with seventeen, sixth place, Christopher with twenty-one, fifth place, Xavier with twenty-three, fourth place, Corby with twenty-seven, third place, Eli with twenty-eight, second place, Tommy with thirty, and Corbin in first place with a resounding thirty-six points. Now, you ready to see the course? This is DK Mountain. And I am super excited, and I really hope this works. Please work correctly. And they will be getting in three, two, one, go! And they're coming up onto the spit. Oh, wow, it's like an invisible track right there. That was very smart of them. To have an invisible track, actually. And Corbin getting a very resounding lead. Coming up into these boulders. Oh, he hits the nail. So do a lot of other people, though. Working their way through these trees. Oh, well, of course, there's a border on the code there. That's all right. Corbin got stuck on something. Remember, the finish line is where those boosters are at. And Christopher will gain the lead. He's fighting for that podium position. Getting a different angle so we'll be ready for the next lap when they end their race. As finishing will be very quick on this race. We did not alter any kind of speed. And Tommy will be leading the front on that end. Johnny's ball is really hard to see. As if for some reason he doesn't even have. Yeah, that is weird. All right, we have to keep an eye on to this finish line. Trying to keep an eye on the mountain over here. Here's the finish line as I prepare for our final results. Looks like Tommy's the one leading the charge. And he is. And he wins the thing. Followed by Christopher and Corbin and Eli. Followed by Corby. Don't know why there's such a big gap all of a sudden. Up into our three competitors. Uh, because Corbin was actually last. That's why I did not see them. I'll get them as they cross this time. It was Chrissy or Xavier Chrissy Johnny is what it looks like. That one was really hard to catch. Corby was actually last. That was Xavier, Chrissy, followed by Johnny. Sorry, I wish I was able to catch that a little sooner, but I had to kind of catch it off the last one. You cannot really see on this course very well. Sometimes it happens, and that's why it's like, oh, what happened there? But oh well. Results are finalizing right now as we speak. 
as we just enjoy them crashing into each other in this awesome course. I'm not going to tell you the scores out loud this time because I want them to be a surprise when they are finished. Because some of this, are, remember there was really some really close calls as far as what happens with point wise. Make sure I got everybody and didn't double count somebody. Did not, okay. with your final scores starting from 8th place your final scores will be Chrissy with 13 points better luck next year Johnny with 19 points better luck next year Xavier with 27 points in 6th place better luck next year 5th place Corby with 28 points he was in 4th originally coming into this race. Christopher, who was in six, is now resounding in fourth with 29 points. Rounding up the podium, well, you guessed it, third place, Eli with 33 points. And second place with 40 points. And first place with 42 points. Tommy in second, Corbin in first. Congratulations, Corbin, for your win. Not Corby, Corbin. Two different people. Hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe Erg Marble World Season 2 will exist. Maybe some more races. Maybe some different races. Definitely probably getting rid of the very first race that we did. And maybe modifying the race before this one. But make sure to stay in tune. We're probably going to do a bigger series of different racers as well. It's like a league thing. But that's something to consider probably not for this year. I'd like to see how this one turns out first. So thanks for watching Ultimate Recon Gaming. Over and out.